it's Miss Kabumba here and I'm going to show you how to achieve this look, this pastel caprice that I achieved with the Sailor Moon Colourpop palette. I love it. And as you guys know, I am a Sailor Moon super fan. This is the first anime I have ever seen in my life and I never get tired of rewatching it. So here we got the natural look and I'm going to get right into it. So we start off with showing you guys the palette because look at the packaging look at the packaging it's so pretty and here are the colors i used so i used that one that one that one that two and i used all of the highlights for my eyes and also because they looked a little different in certain areas and modern renaissance because it has a pink i really like anyways we're gonna brush the eyebrows and fill it in we always do that you guys already know this but as you know i'm gonna narrate it anyways and then you're gonna put foundation and outline the eyebrows i pushed my afro back a little bit because i didn't want to get makeup in my hair and i keep brushing it just so i get a little nice fade and i use a concealer i look a little crazy but we're gonna get into the blending yo 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 it looks so good oh my goodness all right whoa the pigment y'all see the pigment okay so i put the lavender purplish color from the sailor moon color pop palette and i mixed it with my modern renaissance pink because as you know i am dark skin and i wanted the colors to like pop but have a really nice blend to it yes i love it so much anyways you guys know how we cut the crease we always put concealer on our eyelids that's what you gotta do that's what you gotta do kiddos you gotta put concealer on your eyelids after putting just a base color and i'm so careful with this <laughs> i was using a smaller um concealer brush just to make sure i could get i guess the perfect cut crease i want to be so careful and precise take your time y'all take your time just so you know it looks good oof all right okay and then look at that look at that yellow look at that pigment the sailor moon color pop palette is definitely my second favorite palette ever right next to modern renaissance because wow the pastel colors pop on my skin tone they pop on my skin tone they look so good against my complexion it's ridiculous this should be illegal blending this good should be illegal mm -mm. arrest me <laughs> anyways yeah i just keep putting yellow 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 until i start switching up the colors that are on Ooh, right here i spoke right at the right moment all right so i put the I, this is definitely like a lavender and I put it at the corner of the cut crease right at the corner of the cut crease but I'm not done completely blending so I put that make sure it's even on the, both of the sides before I put another color and you guys are gonna see soon you're gonna see soon how I achieved the whole like rainbowish look you gotta take your time with the blending just so you know it looks good this whole look took an hour and a half and it was definitely worth it because I think it looks amazing. It's my favorite eye makeup look. Alright, so here we took the peachy pink and then I put it in between the yellow and the lavender. I put it in between the yellow and the lavender and I just kept blending. Just kept blending until I got the results that I liked. And then I went in with the yellow so we get that full matte blending effect it looks so amazing oh my gosh i mean i already did it but just seeing me do it again i'm a little shook proud of myself wow wow i mean i'm not a mua i don't claim mua but i definitely know how to do makeup on myself anyways in the corner of the eyes i put the lightest gold on the sailor moon color pop palette and i put in the corner of my eyes just because i like the corner of my eyeballs you know popping a bit more 
Oh, and I showed you guys how I put eyeshadow under my eyes as well because I didn't want just eyeshadow on my eyelids. I want it under two just so it really pops. Yes, I love it so much, y'all. Proud of this look. Anyways, I pushed up my hair because we're going to go in with the foundation so my skin don't be looking crazy. Because as you know, I have a bit of uneven skin, but it's okay. It's okay. Ain't nothing wrong with uneven skin because it's normal. <laughs> going in with the foundation, you already know. You grab your... Sp I like using a sponge. I don't know if you guys use brushes. Do you guys use brushes to do your skin makeup? I like sponges. Sponges are fun. Anyways, after all that with the foundation a little bit of the concealer, I just keep using powder all up on my face and now we're using blush i love blush um on my cheek bone line on my nose and on my chin i feel like it just looks so good on me and the blush i use as you guys know i don't even own a blush i just use the pink from the modern renaissance palette that's why i always got that palette on me and here we're doing the eyeliner so i started off with just um outlining my eyes before doing a wing first because i actually didn't know if i wanted to do a full wing with this look because i was like mm, it might look good like a little natural and then i said never mind i'm gonna do full glam i'm gonna do full glam and then i used the mascara of course because i don't use eyelashes so i just like a little bit of mascara to lengthen up my eyelashes you know we like a long eyelash look and ignore the fact that i put <laughs> a little bit of mascara and eyeliner on my fingers as long as the eye look looks good so ignore my fingers and then the highlight is also from the ColourPop palette literally everything's from the ColourPop palette besides the blush and the hot pink that i used oh my gosh so i used their golds they're basically medium gold and then they're other golds and i mix them together because i love a lot of highlight <laughs> i love shining bright like a diamond it's my thing peep the rihanna reference mm. it just looks so y'all just looking at this again i'm just so proud of myself i hope you guys enjoyed the video it's not even done yet but just the process i'm having fun watching it lipstick y'all know brown's my go-to and i had the brilliant idea to outline my lips because i never really do that i did it with black and i personally think i went a little over than what i actually wanted to because i like to outline my lips right on my lips but i did it like a little over on that lip line you see that i did it right on the lip line but that's okay that's okay because i just don't i don't like a lot of like um outlining like over outlining but i think it turned out good i think it turned out good it's actually my favorite look i've ever done right next to my gara of the desert look this is my favorite makeup look definitely my favorite glam look oh my goodness yep we did it we did it y'all that's the final results I really hope some of y'all do some of my makeup looks and send me the results. That would make me so happy. I hope I'm teaching you a thing or two about cutting the crease. Because cut creases are my thing. I really like doing them. Yeah. yeah I'm so happy. Bad and evil by moonlight. Do, do, do. When in love by daylight. <laughs>